Welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. My name is Danny Rocks. Today we'll continue our introduction to pivot tables. This time we'll explore some additional features that make pivot tables such a wonderful way to display our information the way that we want to. Our first step today is going to be making a copy of our worksheet that contains the data for our pivot table. We're going to choose Edit, Move and Copy Sheet, We'll make sure that we create the copy and we're going to move it to a new workbook. Click OK and there we have our data in a new workbook with only one worksheet. Let's create the pivot table. Data, pivot table, pivot chart report and let's follow the steps because in step three I'm going to show you a different way to lay out the information. Let's choose layout. This layout template many clients find to be less intimidating than the layout that I showed you in the last lesson. So once again we'll select fields and rather than moving territory to column or the row as we did in our last lesson we're going to introduce the new area called page. And now sales rep, which we did not use in our last lesson, we're going to place in the row area. Year-to-date sales, we're going to place in data, not just once, but twice, because we're going to perform multiple operations on it. Click OK and click Finish to finish the wizard. There is our pivot table. The first order of business is to go in and rename the worksheet. Rather than sheet one, let's call it pivot table and hit enter. Second order of business, let's format our uh, the first sum of year-to-date sales. We're going to format the numbers for that field. Remember we're formatting fields and not individual cells. Right mouse click, choose field settings, click the number tab, choose the category, in this case currency, with zero decimal points, click OK and OK. And now we can see that our field for our first sum of year-to-date sales is formatted the way we want. For our second sum of year-to-date sales, let's again select one of the numbers, right mouse click, go back to field settings. But this time we're going to go into options. We're going to perform a different operation. Not as we did the last time by choosing average, let's say. We're going to go into options and create through the drop down for show data as we're going to create a sum of percentage of total. So our second sum of year to date sales is now going to become percentage of total. So each sales rep will be shown as a percentage of the total sales. Let's change the name to reflect that. And let's confirm our number formatting. The number, of course, since it's going to be percentage of total sales, is a percentage, but we want to have zero decimal places. Click OK and OK, and there we have it. We have our second sum of year-to-date sales now as a percentage of total sales formatted the way we want. OK, with territory up in the page, if I'm the national sales manager and I'm meeting with one of my regional sales managers, it's very easy for me to select just the information for that region and let's restore all of the sales territories by clicking all and then OK. Let's get rid of this field list for a second. We don't need it. Now we can still move our territory from the page into the row. We can create two rows. We can have an outer row now which is the territory and an inner row which is the sales rep. So we've nested the sales rep row inside the outer row of the territory. This gives us several opportunities to reveal more or less information as we need to dynamically. Let me illustrate. With my mouse on the field header of territory in the row, I'm going to come over here onto the toolbar and I'm going to say hide the detail. So now I see the bigger picture. My sales rep information has been hidden from view so I can concentrate and just see each sales region as a percentage of the total. If I want to bring that information back, once again I'm at the header and I choose to show the detail. 
So hiding the detail, showing the detail, these are great little tabs over here. Now it depends where we're selecting the information. I've hidden the sales rep, but if I want to see the detail for one of the one of the individual territories rather than all of the territories, just select the territory that you want and say show the details or hide the details or go to a different territory and show the details or hide the details. All right, now let's bring back for all of the territories the detail. Okay, I'm going to show you one other feature and one other advantage of having a page area. Let's move the territory back to the page area. And now we want to create worksheets for each one of the individual sales territories. Here's how we do it. With our pivot table toolbar, with the drop down for our options, go down to say, show the pages. And now we can only do this with pages. Territory is our page. And if I want to create individual workbooks for each one of the territories, I click OK. And now there we see it. We have an individual worksheet for each one of our territories. Makes it great for printing out. All right, so you've learned some really great tricks for pivot tables. We'll see you in the next Tips and Time Savers.